Hello people, as always, your boy Ambassador Ambassador here giving his reviews with regards to some videos which I find interesting. They might be trendy videos, they might not be trendy videos, but the purpose is just to spark that talk to get you thinking. As usual, this is the new version of Just My Opinion. Down the line, we'll start having guests, we'll start having podcast discussions, but for now, I just want to get people to be thinking. I feel like that's the purpose of this generation, to get this generation thinking and to build a critical mass. So, when I come on, when I stumble upon interesting videos, I'll give my feedback on it, on my opinion, and I hope that my opinion can spark others to give their opinion. It must not be very intellectual. It must not be very fact-based. Just say what you think. At least think about it and then say what you think. Sometimes I feel like some people live a very passive life where they work, drink, eat, sleep, and they don't really think. They don't really try to think. And I feel that's a very big problem in Africa. So, I just stumbled upon um, Pierre, Professor Pierre Lumumba's video where he was on the platform and he was talking, I think it's Udana Network, and he was talking about religion and Africa. And I always have very strong opinions with regards to these things. And the title is Fasting and Praying Will Not Solve Africa's Problem. Prof, one of the things that you also said was that fasting and prayer is not going to work in all situations, but we have to act, we have to pull up our sleeves and get to work. No, there is nothing with fasting and praying, depending on which religious persuasion one is in. But that in and of itself cannot solve the problems. God has given us the intellect, the ability, to achieve what it is that we desire. And we have seen it happen in this continent. Before we were disrupted, there is now evidence that we attained amazing technological feats. Here in Ghana or in Benin or in Ethiopia, Africa did amazing things. Very true. I have nothing against fasting and praying, but I think they have a purpose. I also feel that people have taken the purpose of fasting and praying and somehow they are misusing it. Somebody will say, the Bible says, pray without season. Okay. I guess if pray without season, you don't take it literally, it means maybe no eating, then you would have died a long time ago. I don't think that's what it means. I think it's to be in that state of prayer. A state of prayer does not mean shouting and speaking in tongues morning to night. It's that state of calmness, which is almost like you can be communicating with God regularly. You see God in almost everything. You hear the voice in God in almost everything. That I agree with. But if praying without season is shouting and casting demons from morning to night, I don't agree with that. But that's what people do in Africa. For the poorest neighborhoods, you see the most churches. That's an indicator of... And then they come to these neighborhoods without no economic... Adding no economic value to the people's lives, but collecting offerings and tithes on these people and then squeezing the poor to become poorer and poorer. Which I think is borderline evil slash criminal, what most of these churches are doing. Collecting from sick people. People are sick... He's in the cold, he's dying in front of a church, you sprinkle water on him, knowing very well this water will do nothing or almost nothing. There have been scandals in the church, all of these major men of God in Africa. For some reason, when you want to talk, something which looks very objective, they will say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And I'm like, okay, but he's doing wrong, but you say, touch not my anointed. Is he still anointed if he's now doing wrong? I don't think so. So some of these things, we should always put them in a certain context and it should be logical. We should not shut down our brain, brains when it comes to religion. I don't agree with those things. So, Professor Pierre Lumba gave a very strict to the point argument with regards to religion where he said, um, when we think about the rationale behind religion, why religion came to Africa, it was mainly some of the, I felt like the case of the British, where the colonial masters came or the businessmen were coming to exploit resources from Africa came and realized that they, they faced a little bit of hostility or resistance on the people. Then they went back and came back with the missionaries who came to soften the minds of the people. And in softening the minds of the people, there was some level of manipulation where you used the line of, um, they, they, they told us not to value gold and precious minerals because it was not of God. But while we're focusing now on the word of God, they were picking up and collecting all of those precious minerals and taking to their country. 
is biological it does not add up he also mentioned the aspect of um, having to focus on innovation towards solutions for africa as i said at no point have i said fasting and praying is wrong but that's not what will solve physical problems there are spiritual things where you start from the spiritual realms and then you move into the physical realm you can meditate for certain things you get the inspiration i feel like all of the conceptions we have on earth the creation of the house the tv the light the camera is a spiritual connection you tap into that divine spirit it, it communicates that message into you and then you you manifest it by action by building the computer but if you stay in that lazy spirituality of praying receiving the message but not wanting to do the work to execute the message then those dreams die in you and then it's a waste of that communication so that's what i said and you notice i'm not talking about religion i'm talking about spirituality spirituality is that connection that taps into the divine and then gives you that inspiration but after that inspiration we need action that's where africa fails we don't have enough action we don't have enough implementation we get the message we pray we cast but somehow it is diluted in that laziness of not wanting to do People pray, they cast and bind, but as the, um, Pierre Lumumba is saying, you have two hands, two legs. You cannot sit down and be asking God for food. He gave you a brain, he gave the land, he gave the hands. You have to seal, you have to execute. He always gives the example, the logic of, um, of listening to nature. Nothing just comes by itself. You have to make an effort. So... If we as Africans don't want to make an effort, believe me, our, past, our fasting and praying is of no use. It will not help us because even when you really fast and really pray and the message comes, if you don't do the work, then it's a waste of time. It's a waste of the message. So I, I don't want to go into detail with regards to my, my, my thoughts with regards to religion and spirituality, but those are two different things. I always tell people I'm more spiritual. I am religious too because as social beings we also have those tendencies to belong to groups and all of that but i hold of higher esteem my spiritual side of things than my religious side of things but we should always try to differentiate those things and also most of the criticisms we have regards to the church and the rest are religious things they're not, they're not really spiritual things so the spiritual for me is very good the spiritual that runs between christianity islam um, hinduism the baha'i faith all of those things the spirituality in it is very good but once we start putting the religious things of it and man's interpretation and man's own shortcomings, it waters it down and that's why we start having questions. So for me, Africans should look at their own spirituality from an African perspective and try to do the best and what is good for Africa. We can also do what's good for the human race, but should come from an African perspective. We should not do things that are counterproductive to Africa in the name of religion. So that's just my opinion regards to it. As I said, I always welcome your comments and very intense debates. And with time, we'll start having live conversations and podcasts around the same topics. See you guys. I'm out. Just my opinion.